This will be a process, but you can start by avoiding jokes about certain subjects. Just avoid the Holocaust, slavery, rape. But all fun people love a good rape joke. The only time that I offended someone with a rape joke, I'm pretty sure he was a date rapist. Am I not allowed to offend them? Actually, if I do offend a date rapist, what do I say? It's okay, some of my best friends are date rapists? I guess you could start hanging out at frat parties. I'm joking. Um, Wyatt, uh, if a girl asks you if she's fat, what do you say? The truth. If she's fat, letting her know is helpful so she can do something about it. What if a girl asks you if she's ugly? She can't do anything about that. Sure, she can spend more time in the shadows. You said your issues ended your relationship and caused trouble at your job? Oh, they weren't related. My girlfriend left because I accidentally kept upsetting her too much. Whereas with my boss, uh, he got upset because I publicly called him out at work. So um, in her case, I didn't mean to cause conflict, but with him I did, so totally different. Mm -mm. In both situations, people are angry with you because of your inability to see things from their perspective. You need to try to put yourself in other people's shoes. You may be a narcissist, which could come in handy in the courtroom. Narcissism can be great in competitive situations, but in social situations, it's terrible. Huh, like, like me. We're going to work on you, and in time, you should see some improvement. But that's it for today. Can you believe she called me a narcissist? I don't even have a full-length mirror. Or a lake. She told me that I have to, I have to learn to put myself in other people's shoes. Well. Stay out of my shoes. I need them for my date tonight. <laughs> Not that his eyesight is good enough that he'll probably notice. Wouldn't you rather be with a younger man? Are you hitting on me? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. no. First of all, you're my neighbor, and I don't shit where I eat. Well, <laughs> that implies that if, uh, that if you ate at home, you would have to leave your apartment to shit. Second of all, you're really bad at reading people. What part of I prefer older men don't you understand? All of it. I mean, it's gross. I'm trying to take the therapist's advice and put myself into your shoes. How's that working out for you? Well, so far, not well, because I, I keep seeing lots of old man dick coming at me face, and I'm trying to avoid it, but it's really, it's really hard. Oh no, that one got me! Oh! I think I get it now. Not sure it was worth getting dick slapped in the face, but I get it. Oh, mm. what do you get? You have daddy issues. I put myself in your shoes and I thought, why do I, Sophie, have such a thing for older men? And I realized it's probably because my own old man didn't give me something that I needed as a child. So now I, I look for the love of older men to fulfill that which I was missing from my own father. I do not have daddy issues. I'm sorry, but I'm in your shoes right now, and yes, you do. As is so often the case, Wyatt, fuck you. Uh, what, what would daddy say if he heard you cursing? I don't think these shoes fit me very well.